This is the bog fest in here. Waist deep uh, bog. If it's waist deep on you, that's going to be shoulder deep on Zap. So don't take it <laughs> so through that. Just a wee <laughs> <laughs> So we hot with rice. Yeah. Milk right. the coffee with the sugar. And five to ten minutes to eat. Okay. Pricing them on the network. I think the hardest part of these things is the road support and all the logistics yeah. around that is some real burden. Yeah. So my wife's coming out to support me, similar to Sab's having her husband, and that makes a massive difference because they know you so well. So again, they know what food you want, what you need, and if you have a tantrum again, it's not too bad, hopefully. She's starting to get a bit tired, yeah. I think she needs to have a bit of a sleep, really. Maybe just 10 minutes. Yeah. But she's like worried about missing out on daylight, but you're better to miss out on daylight than be absolutely knackered, aren't you? My grandparents were part of, of rounds and they've helped loads of people, so for me to be doing this and creating my own stories is, is very similar to you know the stories that they've got. And I've, you know, I've helped on quite a few rounds now with like Paul Tierney's round, I've helped on on Abraham's tearing round rounds to Bob Graham's to Frog Graham's and just getting in amongst all the crack and, and the atmosphere is just you know it's lovely to be and some people are like oh why do you offer to go and run with people at stupid o'clock in the morning or you know in the dead of night and I haven't really got an answer it's just what you do when you're a fellow runner and you help people so that when you need help they'll come and help you and it's just the whole the ethos of it and and the atmosphere and what us fell runners seem to like to do. So do you want a couple of minutes here and then I need go to have the next? Some minutes, yeah. yeah. My asthma is very bad as well. So it's limiting this. my speed. Can you check my shoes and socks off please? Yeah. One second. Yeah, you need five minutes to just bounce mm. back and then we'll give you a proper sleep at yeah, four. So four feet. Yeah. Two DVs in there. She's, you know, very determined that she's going to do it. This is a, what, the third time we're setting off to do it now. Um, we'll do another dose of inhaler and then... No more, actually. No inhaler? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it takes some, some balls to want to do this three times. You know, she's been to this stage before. She knows what this stage is about. She's moving better than she was last time. So it's a real... It shows the strength of character and uh, how stubborn she is that she's going to going to get around. You all ready for this? Let's go. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Get yeah, pork pies and cake. Bye. Right, let's go. Where are he's right, going? Have a good go. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, I think my acne has calmed a bit. Helps. <laughs> Jeff's leading the way. I'm just the mule, carry the bag, carry the water. I, I, she seems to be going quite fast still. <laughs> There's an area where, like on top of Stabor or Dodway, you can pretty much see all of those fells. And you're looking around and you're thinking, oh my God, like she's just about to go and run every single one of these. As far as your eyes can see, there's 214 of them, which some people take it, spend a lifetime trying to do them all. So to do them all in one continuous round in under a week, I don't think I can really comprehend how much of an effort that actually is. 